Hey guys, what's happening? So, I just actually picked this up at a customer's site, and they were telling me that this thing was no longer accessible, and it, uh, you could no longer get the shares, and it just, it things kind of basically disappeared on their network. So, as you can see, I have this, uh, flashing blue light, and it's been stuck like that for like 15 minutes, and that means it's basically just booting up, or it's stuck in that boot up phase. So if you're not familiar with these link stations, the Buffalo link stations, and they're, uh, they run a Linux-based operating system, so XS, XFS file system. So at this point, the partition is either corrupted or the hard drive has failed, I and mean, the hard drive actually is spinning. So most likely I'm going to have to take this thing apart, pull out the hard drive, and see if I can get the data off uh, via like a USB drive, or hook up to like, a USB converter. And uh, yeah, kind of a bummer, so we'll see. See if I can recover the data. Hey, with this particular uh, link station, you just take off one screw, then the cover just pops off. And actually, I'm glad it actually has a Western digital hard drive. Uh, I think these are actually the best. Alright, so I'll take a couple screws out, and it looks like it's pretty basic, the nav board. So, screws. Alright, that is the complete board right there, the network interface, power, and it uh, looks like, I don't know if it's a cooling pan, looks maybe like a cooling pan duct. So I gotta take this off here and here. And I wonder if this actually runs like an ARM processor. I'm assuming it runs like an ARM processor. So, like I was saying earlier, this thing actually runs uh, XFS or Linux partition, so you'll need some kind of way to read it in Windows. Uh, I'm gonna be using the thing called Power ISO, but you can also use like these other some uh, paid tools. Uh, you can also uh, just like install Linux on a, on a separate machine or VMware and recover it that way, but all right, so let's take a look at this thing. It should just pop off the front. There we go. Power and serial ATA. I guess I'd like to take a look at the board to see what kind of it's, how it's running. Like, I'm, I'm assuming this definitely probably has an ARM processor. But is there a fan in there? Is this thing fanless too? Yeah, there's no fan. Interesting. So that's just a way to get ventilation in there, but there's no fan to suck air through, so... Alright, so... Time to get my uh, USB adapter, and we'll plug this in and see what it looks like. I do actually have quite a few USB adapters. Uh, this thing's pretty cool, you just slide it in there, and it locks into place, and that's it. You're done. But I do actually have other ones that are actually multi-interface, which I think you may have seen in other videos. But, alright, this should be USB 3.0, and it should be good to go. Right, the quickest way to mount an XFS file system is to load Linux. So I installed a boot to desktop on this uh, Core i5 right here. That's the original disk right there. I have a connected to a USB drive. And so I'm copying the files right now. I actually mounted a thing in the uh, disk manager. And right there, that's the pretty much a one, one terabyte partition. And mounted it. And hopefully it'll get some of these files back. But even like the, if you look at this right here, it says disk is likely to fail soon. So. <laughs> yeah, this thing is barely moving and it. it's on its last leg, so hopefully I can get the data off there. That'd be cool. Alright, 